Hey, number one. How is it over there in your neck of the woods, number one? You ready for some cooking? <clears throat> Sad news. Went to upload my video, my cooking video, and I deleted them both. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's raining. Oh no! Raining, raining, raining. That's no good. I suppose that's better than snowing, snowing, snowing. So I pretty much got um, a few things prepped. Would you like me to tell you what I'm cooking? Hey, Sunny! Sunny, Sunny, how are you? Where the food at? It's coming, my... <laughs> Neff! Hang in there, it is coming. I'm cooking it. Uh, no, I love the snow. Uh, I'm not a snow... I'm not a snow, snow person. I mean, I'm a cold person, but um, I've never lived in the snow. Never lived in it. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hey, grab it! Hey, brother. So, um, just a, just a mention to my uh, uh, moderators. You know, if there's uh, any questions or when people pop up, can you please um, speak on behalf of me? Because I won't be able to see the messages. I'll be focusing on doing my cooking. So, if you could do that for me, that will be a huge favour. If you know, if you can give me a thumbs up, that you that that you're all good with that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, awesome. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. Otherwise, if I take my eyes off the, off the game, I don't want to be burning stuff. So, thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks, number one. Thanks, grab it. So, yeah, this, um, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to be doing a smoked fish pie. And, um, man. I've got to show you the smoked fish. I smoked it myself. You got me. Yeah, you got big beat. Oh, awesome. Um, grab it. I appreciate that, brother. Straight up. So I'm doing a smoked fish in a creamy cheese sauce with mashed potatoes on the top. So this is the smoked fish I smoked this morning. It's done, and look at that dripping. That's um, that's a um, a grey mullet. I do it in a um, a brown sugar reduction, and smoke it using um, Helena Mickey. Hey Helena, and I I, um, I smoke it using uh, manuka chips from New Zealand. So there it is, guys beautiful smoke fresh i tell you it, sm it smells awesome and it was probably hot maybe 25 minutes ago so uh, that's what i'll be using this right here so i'll be removing all of the flesh um and the bones from it let me just give you a quick rundown these bits right here oh that's the butter baby that's the lot the fat and the lining of the gut uh, man, that's the butter. So I'll be just using just the um, meat in, in this part here, removing the bones, removing the flesh, and breaking it up. So, but before that, before that, I just got to dice up these onions real quick, and I'm going to just wash my hands. So um, on the on the sink uh, the stove over here, I've got some about half a ta half a dozen medium sized potatoes peeled and washed and uh, and cut up small because they're only going to get mashed and they're already on the heat. So this isn't a fine dice; it's just a rough dice. My knife needs a sharpen like badly as, but... 
So I hope everyone had a, a very good day today. Your um, your Friday. I've just like finished work maybe about half an hour ago. So I haven't had an opportunity to catch up with um, everyone's videos. But I will be doing that tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Dang, that's what I should have put on. You want to listen to some music? Nah, too late. I can't. I've got to turn off the light to do the music. I knew I forgot something. Chef Big B. I was a chef, actually. I was a chef. Well, you know, I trained to be a chef years ago. 20 odd years ago. Uh, hang on. Now, longer. We'll just discard, discard the rests. So I'm going to chuck this into a bowl. And I'll be mixing this with the smoked fish. So just for those, those guys that have just come on, if there's anyone that's just, just come on, here's the smoked fish I'm using. It's a smoked mullet. And, uh, yep. So I'll be removing the bones and the flesh. And my potatoes are pumping. Oh my goodness. Got to make sure to get these bones bones out. This mullet can have small bones in it, but I'm just after the main flesh and this buttery stuff right here. Got to get your hands dirty. Check everything. So for just for those who wonder whether I go to sleep or not, I do. I go I, and I have a really, really nice sleep. It could have been longer, granted, it could have been longer. I did wake up a little bit, um, a little worse for wear, but I got through the day. I did my work to the best of my ability. And um, come home feeling refreshed and ready to go. Yes, so I went to go and um, upload my um, video for my um, for my banana bread and my um, potato bake, and I deleted it. <gasps> I deleted it. Gutted. It took me ages to do the editing on it. <laughs> wow, well, well, that's the way it goes. And then I thought to myself, you know what? I um, got. I was doing this fish, and I thought, you know what? I'll do a live. I'll do a cooking and a live, all in one hit, and see how the family like it. So look at this. The 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 flesh is still nice and moist. I know that's a little bit out of focus. And that brown sugar reduction has just uh, fused right into the flesh there. It's, God, it smells so good. I just want to chow into it right now. So I don't know. that You might call mullet a different uh, name over your neck of the woods or over your ways. But it's quite a common fish over here and in New Zealand. In New Zealand, it's called kanai. Kanai. Can I? Yes, you can. Got to make sure to get all those bones, guys. All those bones. It's a meticulous work, but it's worth it for the taste. It's so worth it. Worth the work. All the Australians over here call this a bait fish. 
and all us Polynesians, we laugh at them. We, we go, yep, sweet days. So I've pretty much got most of the flesh from here. I'm happy with that. There's still a little bit on there and my cat will love me for it. My cat Neville. Sorry guys if I'm not uh, if you asking any questions and I can't answer them right now. I'll try and get to them as quick as I can and say hello to you. Sorry if I'm not saying hello. I've asked my um I've asked my moderators to speak on my behalf. Obviously, don't ask them any questions about, about the cooking. <laughs> but please, in the meantime, feel free to talk amongst yourselves. So that's pretty clean. That's pretty cleaned up. Not much left in there. Just a little bit of flesh on the backbone here, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So we're just going to, I'm going to wrap this up and... And give it to my cat later. The old bugger that he is. Always clean your surfaces. And always wash your hands. So uh, now I'm just going to mix the onion up and then while I'm at it just keep searching for more bones and I'll break it up a little bit more. Oh my god that smells so nice. I wish there was smell-o-vision guys. I wish there was smell-o-vision. Hey! Andy, Pat, diving with D. Welcome, guys. Renee, every now and again, guys, I'll be able to, like, stop in and say hello when I see your names. I apologize that I'm not um, properly interacting with you. But um, if you don't concentrate on your cooking, you're going to end up with burnt food. And I don't. Big B don't do burnt food. Big B does not do burnt food. Hey, they all... Oh, Granny Becky, hi Granny, and we got Miss Sassy in the house. Always love seeing you guys on the chat. So with this mix, I'm just going to add just a little bit of cheese, not too much, because the uh, white sauce that I'll be making with it will also have cheese in it as well. So seafood's not everyone's cup of tea, fish and stuff is not everyone's cup of tea. But I live on an island and uh, fish and seafood is our life, so, and I love cooking with it. I love getting, I love gathering it and um, diving for it and fishing for it and hunting for it. It's um, my heritage, it's my culture. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, tip this over. So there's the mix. So it's just onion, smoked fish with the onion, uh, with the um, uh, with the bones all removed, and a little bit of cheese, as you can see in there, the little cheesy flakes. Okay. So next step is we'll be making the white sauce in this pan. So we're going pretty quickly guys, just so that you know, I've got a, um, 
uh, potatoes already cooking in here. I'm doing a smoked fish in white wine uh, in a uh, white cheesy white sauce with creamy mashed potatoes on top. It'll be like a pie, a smoked fish pie without the pastry. So, I'm going to need fifty grams of butter. That's probably just under fifty. That's cool. I'm just going to cut it up into smaller pieces so it melts quickly. grams is all we need we haven't got a lot of mixture in there I want the I want the um, the mixture to be to absorb the white sauce rather than it swimming swimming in it which actually is quite ironic considering it used to be a like a fish swimming I'm just using a all-purpose flour here So to make a good, um, to make a good roux, you have to have equal parts flour to equal parts butter or fat. But I'm going to have to guesstimate what 50 grams is, but that looks just about right. Better get my whisk. So I hope everyone's having a good evening today. I've I've hope that you're. Plans for the weekend um, are all home and hosed, and uh, you've got you've got diving on your brain. I know I've always got d dumpster diving in my brain. So just so that you know, the potatoes I'm using uh, uh, as a dumpster food, the um, butter, the flour, all food from the dumpster. Let's move that out of the road. So I like to whisk my roux. That's a little bit too buttery. I probably need a little bit more flour. Kind of looking for a nice sandy texture when you're doing your roux yeah that's more like it I'll show you what I mean let me show you what I mean There we go. So it's a nice sandy texture. If it's too dry, then you've got too much flour in it. If it's too wet, then you haven't got enough flour in it. So that's not too bad. I'm just going to take that off the heat right now so I can put you guys back. Once you get that sort of texture from your roux, then you can add, start adding your milk. So you want about like 200 mils. Oops, <laughs> let me just block you off there. <laughs> On about 200 mils of milk all up, but I just like putting a little bit in first 
and then um, making sure this roux breaks up. That's just sticking up perfectly. Take it off the hands. So this is gonna be a real quick dish guys straight up. Another 50 mil there. Back on the heat. So initially I want it like a little bit runny, the consistency of the white sauce. If you want, you can flavor your white sauce. You can uh, put garlic powder in it. If you like um, like a little bit of heat, you can put a bit of heat in it with some chili powder. Or, um, but then it won't be white sauce, of course. Curry, what, whatever is um, going on with your taste buds. But um, I'm just a plain Jane man. I'm just like rustic and simple and. So we're just going to let the heat thicken that up just on its own a little bit. When we get the right consistency then we're going to dump this, we're going to put this, place this into our pot and then just let everything heat through. Oh, yeah, there you go, there you go. So once you've added the milk, it becomes a bechamel. That's what it's called, the bechamel. So I'm going to add the last 50 mil. Bad boy, a bit of a taste. Yep. It's just a plain bechamel, you know. There's no flavour in it at all. But I mean, but it's I can't taste the butter and I can't taste the flour, which means as I've found the a good balance in there. In fact, what I can taste is it's a, it's a little bit milky. So we're just going to let the heat thicken it up a little bit. Take it off the heat right now. And then we're going to season it up. Just a couple of pinches of table salt. And that's it. Let's take you over and give you a bit of a look, see, eh? So here we go, this is the bechamel. Nice and velvety, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. And there's no lumps in it at all, zero lumps. That's what you're looking for. Okay, back to positions. <laughs> okay, we're going to turn that right down and now we're going to add our fish and cheese mixture. So for those that are joining us, just joined us, I'm making a smoked fish with creamy potato top pie in a cheesy white sauce. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Nice, very nice. 
it's a little bit thicker than the consistency I want so I'm going to add just a little bit more milk just another 50 mil I don't want the mixture to be pasty I want it to be like fairly like runny So I'm going to turn that off right now and I'm going to preheat my oven Yes, so disaster trying to upload my video for my um, banana loaf today Shocking Here's me, I thought I had a bit of a grip on my technology Turns out I do not guys, turns out I don't Never mind. So I'm preheating my oven to about 180 degrees. And now I'll get my dishes ready. Far and wide. Mm, they might be too big. They might be too small. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Da Okay, let's test our potatoes. Let's test our potatoes. And these bad boys are ready. Ready for mashing. Let's turn that off right there. Get that ready for mashing. Okay guys, we are just about ready to put it all together, so that's good, let's get our potatoes done. Let's get that butter in there, let's get mashing. So all the potatoes out there, potato lovers out there, you guys love the uh, mashed potatoes? How do you like your potatoes? Baked? Cooked? <laughs> These potatoes, this one's an agria potato, it's like a little bit starchy and um, they're actually better for um, baking than they are for mashing but I like that they're nice and firm because you know you can make them peak I really like about that you know what I didn't even season these bad boys better get some season on good dose of salt good for ya and apparently my pepper grinder is done banana so we're just going to go ground black pepper here we go
I'm hungry now. I need a a burger. Razor, just hold sick. Then we'll be ready in a minute. <laughs> Will you kids just wait? <laughs> Oh, look at this, look at the starchy, creamy richness going on here, yummy. Just look at that. Nice big hunk of potato right there. Right there, guys. Okay, our potato's done. I like to rinse everything down when I'm finished. Okay, let's get it set. So, we've got our dish is ready. We're going to spoon in our mixture. Looks like cake batter, right? I can still see flecks of cheese in there. This is a little bit deep. Gonna give it a just some black pepper here. Just gonna add a little bit of cheese to that. So when you dig into it, you get all that nice and that gooiness going on. And you can be inventive, you know, you, if you if you like t tomatoes or whatever kind of um, a vegetable to go with your fish, please, you know, it's um, or herbs. This is just the foundation. This is just the basic form. So now. Let's spoon on our mashed potato. Use it all up. Sorry guys, I, I, I taste the food while it's um, while I'm off the screen. <laughs> but you got to taste everything as you go. Oh yeah, those potatoes are bang on. Straight up. So let's just... Give it a nice little lay it out. Make a nice little pattern if you want.
on top of it just a little bit more cheese not too much just set until it bubbles if anything the cheese on the top is just an indicator when it starts bubbling boom come eat me okay I'm good we're good let's have a look what we got here there we go guys so that's the end result at the top we've got cheese we've got the potato mashed creamy mashed and we've got the second layer which is the smoked fish and onion and a little bit of cheese Oh, hey, Hippie Chicks Mama. Hello, Ben. I'm a new sub. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to the chat. It's so awesome to see your name pop up on the uh, comments. All of my um, all of my moderators will, will greet you in here and all of the family here. Let's give Hippie Chicks Mama a big welcome, guys. I've decided, so, uh, Hippie, Hippie Chicks Mama then decided to I went to go and upload a video, a cooking video, which is what I do from time to time. In my haste, I deleted him. Oh boy. So I decided to do a live show. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. So, yeah, sit back, enjoy the chat. Everyone is really friendly on here. You're, um, you're in a really uh, safe space. To express yourself freely what's on top is cheese and mashed potato so I'm gonna put that bad boy uh, into the oven and uh, let that bake for about 15 minutes and then I'll flip it over and let it grill for about five minutes and in the meantime, we've got to clean up. Oh, we've got Diana. We've got Diana in the room. Greetings, Diana, Angie, Sam. Hi, guys. Sorry, I haven't... Um, um, being polite and and um, if you wash I'll dry yeah come on then come on then Pat you and yourself a bowl I don't want to clean I want to eat Rosa Rosa well you can eat and then you can clean afterwards that, that that's the rules in the house <laughs> I've got to go to Australia I'm staying at Big B's bed, bed and breakfast <laughs> yeah you can slide in next to me uh, uh, Andy Shh, we won't tell anyone. <laughs> Mukbang on the fly. Hey, how Jack Willen? How are you, my friend? Yes, I, I, I'll show you. I might as well show you the banana, the banana cake. I showed um, uh, grab it uh, uh, the other one I did with the chocolate uh, topping, but here's the. Here's the other one, banana bread. It's already been cooled. So uh, let's check it out. Let's slice it open and have a have a piece, guys. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh yes, sir. Oh, she's still nice and soft. Look at that, that's just... Oh my god. Oh, 
。ああ。Sorry, Reza. <sighs> Please. Hmm. I'm sorry, guys, for being so rude. It was not me. It was the food. That is so moist and it's so spongy and and it's so light as well. The bananas are really are still really strong in there because they are like really really ripe. And the the crust of the bread I don't know if you can hear that, but yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Sorry, my friends. Sorry, my family. Oh. I better put that away. Save it for another day. That is so good. I cannot tell a lie. So really glad you guys could make it. And watch me cook and eat. But I really wanted to stay true to what I was saying in my live last night about uh, planning for the week and holding myself accountable and you know I thought well if I can't produce a cooking video I better produce a cooking live but you know what that means it means I have to do another banana cake and it means I have to do another potato bake that's what that means oh no not another one There we go, she's all nice and patted down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, you have to love, love working in a clean, clear space, right? You know? Gotta love working in a clean, clear space. Let's check on this here. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna put that bad boy on the grill. While I run the water. Where does this do? Yep, so cooking with dumpster food is safe and it's fun, you know, it's safe and it's fun. It's fun because, you know, it's not so much where you got it from, it's the respect you treated it with once you got it to your house, all right? You, you wash it thoroughly, you give it its vinegar, water bath to um, sterilize it, and... Um, 
and then you work with it straight away so it doesn't go off you know it doesn't continue to age and and um and decompose for a lack of a better word in your kitchen in your fridge but uh, like be real about like if you're going to take quantities that can't be donated like fresh fruit and stuff like that you have to act pretty quick you know at the, at the end of the day and um yeah, yeah if you treat it with respect when you get it home you are good you are good and it doesn't matter what anyone else says it doesn't matter what anyone else says it um what matters is that if you're donating it then you're helping others if you're using it then you you know it's because we need it you know so we can best utilize monies to go in other areas in our lives and make it stress-free you know it's all about being less stressed in our lives not more stressed less stressed and um that's the sort of stuff that i carry through and um the naysayers i love them to bits uh is there going to be any leftovers no uh did you use the bananas did you use the bananas yes we used the bananas um my grandma used to make wild blueberry pie oh my god that sounds so good Angie, thank you. And amen. Thank you, Brenda. Island girl, I wish I had access to any uh, to anything that would help me cut down on expenses, especially with food and clothing. Oh, that's right. You're on the um, you're on the island, right? I, I mean, obviously, island girl. Yeah. Sometimes you just um just um just have a look around, you know. Have a look around, you'd be surprised about, even in small in small places, the things people throw away. Or networking, networking with others and and, and, and people discard stuff all the time. Hey, we got Christy Janes. Christy Janes, welcome. From Kansas and Phyllis Dagney. There you go. I just like, looked at it and then I just set it out quickly. Phyllis Gagney and um, Christy James. New people to our chat room, guys. Let's make them feel welcome. Here's the news. Here's the song for all you new people that are um, in here. Welcome home. You see, I've made a space for you now. So welcome home. From the bottom of my heart. Oh, Gonye, Big B. So, we've got a fish. Now, what would make a really nice drink to complement a fish dish? I feel like I've got enough time to make something else on the fly. Make something else on the fly. You love the way I talk? I love the way you you, you text, Christy. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm that's for you new people. I'm broadcasting broadcasting to you live from Western Australia. Yes, currently it's uh, 1 12 p.m. Um, Saturday afternoon. So I am literally in your future. And um, yeah, the weather, we're right in the peak of our summer over here in Western Australia, in Australia, the whole continent. It's um, probably about 27 degrees Celsius, which is around about 78, uh, 80 degrees um, Fahrenheit. It's 11, 12 p.m. Is that Friday night? Friday night? Play us a song, Big B. I, 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 guys, I, when I, when the cooking and the dish is done, then I don't have to focus on it any longer. Please, we're, we're almost at the end. We are almost at the end. They're far away. <laughs> uh, it's twelve thirteen here, a.m. 
Uh, yep, 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 yep. 10 p.m. in Canada. Yes, it's Friday night. Monday, I got Friday on my mind. Uh, we have a trill in here. We have a trill in here. Really? That's okay. That's okay. My the, the team is on. The team is on. Mom of two. Hi, mom of two. And now I've sent Mama two. Mom of two. I have sent you an email. I'm waiting for you to reply. How are you? I hope things are um, you're feeling great today or you've had a great day. Three PM here Saturday. So you're actually ahead of me. You're actually closer to New Zealand time, Island Girl. So I'm I'm actually behind you. So there you go. Island Girl wins. Oh really? I will have to check my email. Yes, I'm 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 pretty sure I I, I got your um um email that you left in the comment and I sent you one. So yeah, please check it. It might it might end up being a um um, in the spam, I hope not. But it's worth checking. You have two hours more in the future. <laughs> hey, you're a crack up already, right Island Gill. I should have my dishes done by now. Oh, look how easily distract distracted I am. That's what it is. Disruptive in class. Also known as to be disruptive in class. You know what the best part about doing my dishes is? I get to use dishwashing liquid I found in the dumpster. Yeah, boy! And I've got like three more of these. <laughs> three more of these bad boys. Thank you, oldies. Dumpster God. I certainly appreciate you. You're getting me mixed up on this time junk. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, we, we just worry about our own time, eh? <laughs> Yuck ya. Free detergent is the best man Free anything is the best at Sam And you know what There's only one thing better than free stuff Can anyone guess what is better than free stuff What I think, it, what I, what I think is better than free stuff Free is the best way It sure is You give up And here we are, the reveal, BAM! Look at that, that cheese has just gone golden, just at the right time. Can you hear it bubbly crackling away? Yeah. There it is guys. That is the end result. And I tell you it just smells <laughs> amazing. No big beat. Don't eat it. You have to send it to, <laughs> to me right now. <laughs> oh, I wish I could. I wish I could like just sit down at a table and just serve you all. That would, I mean, that would be like a huge dream of mine to be able to have you guys sit down and me serve you. 
it's so simple it's so easy how long did that take us guys honestly i did it you know in front of his only thing you guys didn't see me do is um uh mukbang on the fly is not a troll guys that is our that is our bestie jacqueline ovens right in there she is the bomb she is the bomb yep so anyway let's let's play it up let's play it up shall we I'm going to look for something to accompany that with and um, probably some kind of salad if I've got the greenery in my fridge. See, I made a space for you now. Welcome home from the bottom of my heart. We've been waiting here with our arms wide open So uh, let's just push that over there Can you guys, uh, can you guys uh, uh, watch out for that for a second? Thanks So we're going to go with, with a green salad. We've got some cost lettuce that I found in the dumpster. We've got some green sprouts. Bean sprouts. A few of those bad boys. Got your face. Oh, shut your, shut your face. We are going to grate a little bit of carrot. All right, I got you. I heard you. I heard you the third time. A little bit of carrot. And uh, salt, pepper, and the uh, Squeeze of lime. And a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. The good stuff. And there we have it. Let's put these uh, lemon wedges, uh, lime wedges, right on the plate as well. Let's chuck that in the rubbish. Let's uh, spoon that on and let's plate up.
Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just done a spider. It's just done a Spider-Man on me. Oh yeah. Okay, let's take a look at this here. You guys want to check it out? Boom. There we go. There is our plated dish, guys. We've got a nice green salad with cos lettuce, grated carrot and bean sprouts. With a uh, a bit of lemon, uh, sorry, lime, squeezed lime and olive oil dressing, and then we have our smoked fish pie. That's what it looks like in the dish. It's well like mixed in there. Look at those stringy bits of cheese. So let's go eat. Let's go eat, guys. It's not like a video either. You know, the video, I sit back and I can edit it and I stop and you don't get to watch me pig out. So for you guys, first time, first time at my table, welcome, welcome to my dining table. No matter where I am or what I'm doing, um, Tony76, you caught the live, look at you, hey, eh? look at you, back on a short break, did I miss the pie? No, you didn't. You just caught me plating up there, Sunny. No matter where I am or what I do, when I, before I eat a, before I eat my food, I give thanks. So, just a short prayer. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the food that we are about to receive. We are truly grateful. May it nourish our bodies and give us the strength to go out dumpster diving one more time. We ask, uh, we ask that you bless this food, bless this house and the people inside of it. Bless the people in our chat room and our YouTube family all over the world. In the power and glory of your name, Amen. Are we all good? We are all good, okay. So there we go, like from start to finish guys, we've been on the live for an hour from start to finish from from doing the from doing the um fish and sitting on the table one hour and with there's enough food um there's enough food to feed a family in there so let's try this um smoke fish oh, i mean i know what it's going to taste like Stop it. And I reckon that recipe would go good with salmon as well. Don't leave out details? Okay. So smooth, that potato. You know, and it complements the fish really well because the, the fish is quite chunky. The fish is quite uh, still quite chunky. But the, the sauce that the fish is in is really well balanced. It's really, really well balanced. 
and the um, the cheese has a, has a nice dimension too. It's nicely flavoured, you know. It's nicely flavoured. It's just a regular cheese. It's just a regular cheese. But you know, the combination of the the, the green salad and the pie. Yeah, here, that's the real tester. Because we've got an olive oil like and lemon juice, uh, lime juice flavouring in there. So, you know, got to mix them up. But that white sauce got really good balance. And, um, of course, the smoked fish was done in a, um, was done with, um, a um, brown sugar reduction before it was smoked so that smokiness is coming through that smokiness is really coming through it's it's, it's bloody beautiful guys Angie are you having trouble with the police is that why Scrappy um, Sam called you a criminal <laughs> You know, Helena, no one came, no one ever came out of the womb knowing how to cook. No one ever came out of the womb knowing how to cook. And some people just have a knack. I sound like a food critic, Tony. I, I'm, I'm just a food lover. I'm just a food lover. And I've watched a lot of food programs, you know. Stringy... Cheese stringy, that's how you know cheese is good. Yeah. Yep. Guys, I know. Oops. <laughs> oh, my God. Those potatoes are really nice. They're, they're an agria potato. They're like quite starchy and they're actually better for baking. But, you know, they're actually better for baking <clears throat> rather than mashing. But I made a, I put a little, quite a bit of butter in there. I mean, it's very decadent. But, um, it, man, it, it's just combined so well and it's nicely seasoned too. If I do say so myself, I'm falling asleep at the keyboard, says Pat. Good night, everyone, and thank you, Big B. Enjoyed myself. I'm glad you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Do I ever think about portions and cooking? I do more than my more than my wife does. More than my wife does. Like um, she she still cooks as though we still got the seven kids at home, and it's just me and her. Um, but I would just, you know, for this particular dish, I just needed to use all of that smoked fish. So who's with me on taking a... Just only hang out with Big B. <laughs> well, like I mean, I mean portions. Potions. Yeah, you mean portions, don't you, um, Jacqueline? I'm telling you guys, you, any one of you, make your way. And I've said it to Pauline number one. She said she wants to go um, um, take a trip here to Australia. You come and hang out with me, man. You come and stay at my place. My door is always open. There's always a place for you to lay your head. And there's always a roof here. And there's always... I'll, I'll, I'll look after you guys. So we got to go get dinner ready. Mark is already asking for food. <laughs> Tell him you've already eaten. Island girl. <laughs> no, I mean potions. Uh, sometimes when I am making soup, I think, don't the witches do this? <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, I absolutely mean it. I absolutely, absolutely mean it. Those potatoes are so creamy. Mmm. 
Yeah, I got you a Jacqueline. Yeah. Except um, that 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 is it depends what sort of witch if it's um it might be made for evil. Made for evil. This is the hottest summer. Yeah, yeah. Good night, just uh, two of us. Good night, Island Girl. He's pulling on my arm. <laughs> he's watching with me. And he's <laughs> hey, Mark. Make sure Island Girl makes you a nice feed, my bro. Hmm. Pardon me. Oh, I was um, I was so obsessed with that pie. I uh, I forgot all about my salad. Mm -hmm. Now I've got to peel it back like a horse. Oh, Dumpster Diva. Robert, got to go, Big B. Tex is um, messing up. Good to see you. Looks delicious. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate you being on here, my friend. Thank you so much. And definitely hope to see you on the next one. <laughs> that is so true, Helen. Always left for last. I don't usually like leave them for last. I, I usually like combining them and getting that like taste sensation, but that pie was so damn nice. I can be forgiven for leaving the salad for last on this occasion. But I'm glad I made a, the choice of putting the um, the bean sprouts on there because they're so fresh and have their own unique taste, you know. Oh, I love bean sprouts. Bless you too, Robert. Thank you for watching. Mm. Hey, Dumpster Diva. Well, there you have it, guys. A live cooking show. What do you all think? What do you all reckon? Nice. Hardest part's coming up. It's doing the cleaning up. But, um, there's not much to clean up. Just a few dishes. Always clean up behind me. That's it. A couple of bowls and a couple of pots. And what is it that most of us do after we've had a feed? Me, I would normally like get straight into those dishes. But we got guests. We got guests. And we can't ignore our guests. So Well, Big B, another great show as always. Love chatting. Love you. Have a blessed, blessed rest um, of your night. Be safe and God bless you and your family. Good night, everyone. And and chat. God bless you all and be safe from Brenda. 
Thank you, Brenda. You're so welcome. You're, oh, you're a blessing. You are a blessing. Um, can't wait to see you on the next live, which is going to be tomorrow. I'll be doing a live of um, the um, yard sale tomorrow. I'll be having. Only thing that will stop me from doing that will be, do your children live close to you? No, they don't. They don't. I have uh, two daughters that live back in New Zealand. I have um, four sons that live um, uh, three sons. I have three sons that uh, that live here and um, in um, Western Australia, but they're about an hour or so away. And um, um, and I have a uh, yeah. Yeah, not too close, not close, close. The water's behind me again. I know, I know, it's that effect. I, you know, it's, it's totally accidental, and I love it. I was actually going to go down and do it live. I don't have any data on my phone to do that. Yep, I don't have any data to do that, um, but I will tomorrow. And um, I, I just can't wait to take you guys on a ride down to the next um, marketplace, uh, which is in a place called Rockingham. The one we went to last week, one we went to last week was in a place called Hall's Head. And it's the biggest one for this area. But um, Rockingham is probably about 40 odd minutes away. So I'll travel there and then start the live when I get there and then I just like and that's pretty close to the water too so we'll go and enjoy some water views have some breakfast down there enjoy some water views go and have a look what the um, what the um, what the flea market has has, to, has on offer Pauline are you going to bed? Are you going to sleep Pauline? Good night everyone hope you say good night and then you're going to sleep So super appreciate you guys, you know, hanging in there and you know watching the um um uh, um enjoyed the um live cooking, you know, but um I wasn't too sure um how it was gonna how I was gonna um like um execute it. Uh, but I knew that if I was going to do something like that, it had to be something pretty quick, something I knew really well, and um, and um, something that wasn't going to like put anyone off, you know, because that's the last thing I want to do. Um, so yeah, I'm glad it turned out really well. The, my kitchen smells amazing right now. <laughs> It was awesome, grab it. Oh, thank you. You, you liked it, Jacqueline? Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. No, oh, I am munching. Oh, Pauline's munching. <laughs> then then you shouldn't say goodnight. You'll say, I'll be right back. So can I find it on your channel, Jacqueline? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying some different things on that second account. Awesome, Big B. Thank you, Renee. No, you know, that kind of encouragement and support just means that I'm on the right track as far as um, what I'm doing. And I'm, I'm not, you know, not, I always worry about that I'm like blurbing on about like dumb shit and I don't want to be able to do that. So I asked, I asked my, um, it was, it was, it was, it was a very nice life, Big B. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Granny Becky. <laughs> Tomorrow sounds like a great life. Yeah, well, I, I, I hope so. I mean, it's just going to be me sitting around interacting with people, um, hoping to buy my my stuff that I've um, collected um, dumpster diving because if I want to con continue dumpster diving and store it in a house that I share with my wife, then I better, better get... Um, Okay, let's go. 
I live in a, a suburb. That's right. And I always like to say later instead of goodbye. <laughs> yeah, later. They can smell your food. No, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, um, no, nah, I, I live in a real, um, it's like, uh, I guess it's like the, the lower income um, part of town. Uh, a lot of and um, a lot of indigenous families live in he around this area, and um, and um, yeah, society has decided that this is like the 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 derelict part of town. And um, oh, my wife and I have got a small house here. You know, uh, we got like for pretty cheap, and um, we don't have any issues. You know. We don't have any any issues, and um, and in fact, I embrace the I embrace the indigenous uh, uh, community here. I, you know, I, I go to one of the elders. I purposely sought out one of the elders, and um, uh, to befriend them and get to know their culture a bit more and not be ignorant. You know, not be ignorant. People are ignorant because they choose to be. They choose to be. Does your wife like dumpster diving? No, she doesn't. She hates it. She hates it. I took her out once. Like, she likes finding stuff, but she just doesn't like the paranoia that she experiences when she goes for it because every noise she's like, hmm? Then she wastes a lot of time not diving. <laughs> yeah. You know, so um, so that's what I do. I I, I embrace this, and it, and it's really an awesome uh, community. Um, and I defend it. I defend my community. So when people rubbish cooting up, you know, I step up to the plate and, you know, have a you know have a crack at the title. But um, I don't mean violently. I mean like mincing words. You know, when I grow up, I was uh, living in a ghetto. It was bad, but I didn't care. I was with my family. Exactly. I mean, I never raised a family here. It's just, you know, we've only been here for a few years. I walk my dog every day, and people see me. You know, they they see me out and about. You know, they, um, I, I've been doing it for so long that they they wave from their doors and their windows, and um, and that's a good feeling to be recognised like that. You know, you know, and safely recognised. I love the adrenaline feeling when I am diving. Me too. I I. I uh, I only like the adrenaline feeling when I'm diving, when I've when I've opened the lid and found something, boom, and then the adrenaline's in, right? Then the adrenaline. Otherwise, it's the anticipation, you know. It's the anticipation, you know. I like I pull up next to the to the to the dumpster, and if the lids are closed, that leaves me wondering, you know, is it empty? Is it open it up? Oh, hallelujah! But if it's packed. If it's like packed up and you know it's like oh no you know it's like dang you guys feel the same way like when it's the lid is up and it's just jam-packed and you just oh no i'm never going to get to the bottom of that not even jackie will be able to get to the bottom of that <laughs> yeah I lived on Cotton Mill Hill, very poor, and we ate beans and taters and taters and beans. You know, we've all, um, you know, um, um, going through tough times isn't just about hunger or, or anything like that, eh? You know, um, I've grown up with really, really poor people. You know, I, you know, we we went that well off we were a blue collar family and there were seven of us seven of us and um you know we struggled but you know what our mum always made sure our clothes were clean and ironed and well presented she never let us go out with runny noses or or you know she you know my mum looked after us you know god has been good to me and has truly blessed so yeah you know um so anyway i, I live in this 
this area and uh, yeah these sirens go off all the time these sirens go off all, all the time you watch five of us and now only so where do you sit in the five angie are you like the baby of the family i'm the second youngest of the seven all my all my brothers and sisters are in their 60s Me and my brother are living, that's all I have except my husband and kids. I am the baby. Okay. Oh, you too, you too, grab it. You're the baby. All my brothers and my sisters. Yeah. Now, um, I was the teen child youngest. You were the youngest of 10 kids. Wow. And is that, is that, is, Rosa, is that a normal, is that a normal, you know, like for that era, that size family, is that normal, you know, to have a large German family? Or, you know, is that fairly standard? Not necessarily 10, but I mean like between like 6 and 10. All my brothers and my sisters are dead, only, only my brother and myself. Yes, they didn't have a TV. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Unisex toilets and um, and no fences either. I bet. Hello there. My grandma had eight children. Junkamika. Yeah, my my grandmother had sixteen. Sixteen. My mother is the second youngest of sixteen. My father is is only two. And then my my grandfather, he was uh, he was the oldest of twenty three, twenty three. I am back. Just brushed my teeth. Back now. Hello, Renee. And Pauline's grandma had twelve. Yeah, my grandfather was the oldest of 23 and um, he went away and come back and he discovered he had four brothers and sisters and there were 28 years difference between them. <whistles> I have one, that's enough, eh? Boy, they really loved uh, each other, Big B. No, oh, no, well, they, you know. Well, we're talking back in the like at the turn of the century here, you know, like uh, my mum was born in 1940 and her oldest brother's 20 years older than her, Uncle Tamihana, and he, heading, heading to bed, Big B, thank you for the awesome live, much love your way everyone, thank you so much Granny Becky, you make sure you rest well and have an amazing day. Uh, tomorrow and I'll catch you tomorrow on at your house for your morning live because I've got my days off now I'll be I'll, I'll be I'll be in oh you so you like leave it in there okay good night granny Becky love you My mum was born in 1933, and there were nine of them. Yeah, so, like, it's not that so much that they loved each other, it's just that they needed workers for the farm, pretty much. You know, they needed they needed workers to work the house, and they needed workers to work the land. So they had kids. Child labour. Hey, hello, Big B. How are you doing? Hey, Kevin, how are you, my friend? Uh, are you just joining us? Are you just joining us? Oh, you just missed the, the the live cook, my bro. My grandmother had brother who had 15 kids. Wow. 
So your grandmother, that's like your great uncle, and these are like your your cousins. Fifteen of them. Wow. I love big families. I love the noise and the chaos of like. We, we had six kids. We had seven kids, but we we found out or the one was adopted out um, as a baby, and then. Um, but I love the chaos and the and the noise, you know. My grandpa had a cotton farm. All the kids picked. That's it. We we had a you know we had to breed an army. We had to breed an army. And um, my uh, my uh, property back at home in New Zealand is quite large. It's quite large. So we had to breed uh, lawn mowers, hedge hedge trimmers, edge edge clippers, tree trimmers, you know, the whole shebang. Don't need to be sorry, my friend. I'm just checking whether you're just joining us now or you're just popping back in. I'm just all good, my bro. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll be, uh, be plenty more cooking to come and um, liking. As long as I'm well prepared, I can do some more elaborate dishes. As long as I'm more prepared for to do more live cooking, but you know, if it's it seemed like it was a pretty good hit at one stage, I saw twenty people on here, and some big hitters, some big hitters. Seventy percent of my cousins are military. Me too. But after my dad and my mum passed, they there is nothing holding us together. That's true. They are. They were the glue. A. Eh? And not only just to your immediate, to the immediate fa family, but to the um, family that connect you to their side of the family. Like when my mum passed away uh, twenty odd years ago, um, she was the bridge that connected us with her side of the family, and we lost that connection. We lost that connection, and we were so close. But that's because. My mum always opened up, kept their door open, and um, and people would, you know, the family would come to see her, and then and and in turn, we would see our cousins. Hey, Buckeye, how is Buckeye and the Buckeye family? Sadly, all gone, passed away, but they are distant cousins. I really don't know them. All just mostly my mum and I. Right, right. Me, me too, uh, big friend, and two, and I join you now. Nice. Not doing good tonight. Oh no. Well, you know, we, 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 we My dad is in the hospital. We pray for him, Buckeye. All of us in here hope for him for like a speedy recovery, and that uh, you know that he doesn't um, come across any any any, any um, complications, Buckeye. So, you know, you let us be the strength, you know, in your time of weakness. And um, hopefully that, you know, you can leave here with a, uh, my dad is in hospital. They think he had a stroke. They are doing tests. Okay. Yeah. A stroke can be, uh, can be recoverable too, 100%. I've seen it in my own family. Uh, with, when, um, when my dad had a stroke, he he, he, he pulled back a uh, hundred percent recovery. Obviously, he couldn't do a lot of things that he used to do. Two CT scans so far, and no doubt there'll be plenty more uh, tests to come. And but he was in a good place at the hospital. They'll be looking after him, and uh, he'll be well looked after. But yes. Definitely prayers, definitely prayers to you and your family, Buckeye. Much love and and and, and prayers coming your way, my friend. My uncle did a hundred percent recovery from a stroke as well, praying that all goes well. The same with your dad from Junker Mecca, Buckeye. I'm doing good. How was your night, Big B? Well, I'm, I'm actually just... Uh, in, um, last night was really good. 
had a good rest uh, went to work and now it's currently 2 p.m. Saturday afternoon over here in Western Australia Kevin um, the reason I uh, ended up doing a live cooking show was because I was uploading a video uh, My neighbour came to sit with me until someone got her to be back to to be with me. Well, I would have a panic attack for sure. That you know, you, now, now you know your dad is in a um, a, a safe and, and uh, caring environment. There's um, no need for you to um, have a panic any further, Buckeye. Hey Adrian, how are you? Good to see you my friends. It's always a pleasure to see your name pop up in the comments. And um, I'm doing really well. Um, the rest of the chat is doing really well. We just heard some not so great news about Buckeye Diver's dad being in hospital. And, um, and uh, we're all praying for her and we're all praying for her dad and her whole family that he uh, that he recovers well and um, yeah we pray for a speedy recovery and um, we pray that uh, that he will have no further complications and uh, we also pray that um, that uh, you know that our heavenly father is looking over him and guiding him through his way you know in his moment of darkness and um and we're also praying that that, that the family will do everyone give big be a thumbs up thank you angie and we're also praying that that um uh, buckeye will will go will go through this um this moment in her time uh with peace in her heart knowing that that her, her dad is in, in good safe hands with the experts doing everything can everything that they can to um, help him in his like current situation so um, sometimes we just have to give the give the 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 the, uh, the drivers sometimes we just got to give the driver's wheel to our Lord and let him drive and just and just let him um, take control they better do what they can or they will have to meet the mean the mean daughter <laughs> yeah I'm sure they will do everything they can and and um, and I'm and I'm sure you 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 come from a really good stock You come from really good, uh, uh, good stock there, Buckeye. So you know he, your dad will not give up without a fight, and uh, no doubt if he's anything like yourself, he's worked hard all his life, and uh, he, uh, he, he, uh, he, 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 I couldn't see him um, going out like this. So yes. That you've got the whole YouTube family behind you. No one misses with my family or my YouTube family. There you go. Well, this time we're in your corner, Buckeye. You, you know, you, 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 you can go out and uh, and and do the good deeds. And your YouTube family right here is in your corner. We got your back. Uh, that is cool my friend my phone will not let me go live on here but I don't have a PC but I and I will be doing more video on my channel but I have one video on my channel but it is private okay okay um, you're saying you you it will not let you go live on your phone okay just just I, I'm, I'm using um, right there camera fire live it's an app 
Yeah, it's an app I'm using, and that's how I connect with people. So, but I tell you, it's um, it's a awesome, it's a trip going live. It, it's a, it, it's a, it's amazing to be able to connect with people um, all around the world. It's um, it, it blows my mind about you, know, you. You need to have a thousand subs for YouTube or other app. Uh, no, yeah, you need a you need a thousand subs for to go live off directly off your channel, directly off your channel. I I, I don't have a thousand subscribers, but I can you I can go live through my YouTube on my mobile phone using CameraFi Live, and it's a free app. It's a free app. Yep, for mobile. Yep. They ask you some pretty trippy things, though. You know, they ask that they that they end up want to take control, have the ability to um, uh, have the ability to uh, delete your content, take control of your content while you're um, um, linked to these to these applications. But if you adhere to the rules. You know, if you adhere to the rules that's outlined by uh, YouTube, um, then there shouldn't be any issues. Camerafi, C A M E R A F I, Camerafi, Camerafi Live. Now I've tried Streamlabs. Um, I've tried Stream Elements, which is uh, a, um, a a side byproduct of uh, stream stream uh, labs and I've had nothing but difficulties with them so in my angst or my my uh, necessity to stop banging my head against the wall um, okay got it thanks <laughs> I uh, tested out some other ones and this one here seems to work for me uh, here you need 1,000 YouTube to stream from your phone. If you were to stream directly from your YouTube channel, you need a thousand. Uh, you need actually more than a thousand. Grab it. Do you need 4,000 hours as well? Grab it. Is it just? Is it just 1,000 subscribers and you can go live? But do you need 4,000 hours as well? Oh boy. I'm telling you, cooking live is a trip. It, it, you know, it's, um, I was like worried like the whole time I, I was doing that. And not anxious or anything like that. I'm, I'm quite at peace with myself when I'm cooking. Nap time, yeah, yeah, I know. Far out. Nap time under my fern, like that. Okay, Rosa, going to bed now. Good night, guys. Love you all. Bye. Thank you for the fun times and the laughter, Razor. You are one funny gal. You are one funny gal, man. Love you to bits. I read it can be a T. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. I still got to get in there and do those dishes. One second, I'll be right back and get get me a drink. I'll be right back.
So it's been a, you know, it's been a good, it's been a good day for some and, and, and not so good day for others. Sassy. If you guys are hooked up to Sassy, she's just uploaded a, uploading a video now, and she's uh, got a new profile picture as well. We're checking out. I did 18 minutes on the bike with my physical therapy appointment today. It was good. Back is getting better. Awesome, Renee. That's right. You were saying that you were going to go and see your um, uh, physiotherapy. Like I said, you eat it, you clean it. Not in my house. You cook it. You someone else cleans it. <laughs> what is that noise? Sounds like a cat. No, it's a crow. It is a crow. Oh, oh, oh. Crows? Question mark. Question mark. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, Big B. <laughs> yes, Rosalie. <laughs> yep, those are crows. And um, there's quite a murder of them uh, in this neighborhood. They're, they're probably about 30 or maybe even 40 strong. And they, they, they have like huge, huge territory. And they, you know, the only one, there's only one other bird that, um, that doesn't, that, um, uh, there's only one bird that intimidates them, and those are uh, magpies. Magpies here are like crazy, man. Yeah, if I cook, if someone else is going to do the, do the cleaning, yep. Since, since the beginning of time, I think. Down under crows, they sound different than ours. They sure do. They sure do. They, they, they. Uh, I said no, Big B. <laughs> yeah, my our crows have an accent. They're Australian. They're Australian. They're Australian crows. Staying the crows. No shit. No shit, Sherlock. Yeah, yours are like, eh, eh. <laughs> Big B, watch my first live from today and you will get to see a lot of my hauls and you will get to know me better. Angie, I, was, I, I mean, I, 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 I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. But I've seen, your, I've, I've seen your other videos. I love you to bits. Big B, I'm going to get that sheep you have. I'm going to go and get that sheep, okay? You have a good evening and be safe, be careful, God bless and keep cool. Bye, Big B. Bye, Kevin. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. I hope that you left here, you know, um, uh, with some value. Um, I hope that uh, the, you um, clicked onto the uh, camera fi live and um, hope it all goes well for, you, well for you, my bro. Talking about the cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rosalie, no. I thought you said you were going. Didn't you say you were going, Rosa? Gosh. Yeah, you're, you're one of those people that are like, you're, you're the last one to leave the house. Shall we open up another bottle of wine? <laughs> sounded like kick out. Meow, meow. No, no. I know that's what it sounded like, but those are actually crows. And you should hear them communicate in long distances. No, till you clean Big B. <laughs> You're cruel. I'm just going to cut the live off. I'll just cut it off so you can get a bed. You're welcome, Kevin. Take it easy, my bro. Brother, do you think I should upload the diving video we made before Dad went to hospital? Of course you should. Of course you should. You're, if, you, if you were to ask your dad the same question, Buckeye, he would tell you the same thing. Guarantee it. You, you know... 
I tell you something, Buckeye, the, the sun will still shine and it will still rise in the same place. The birds will still tweet and chirp and life will revolve and carry on. Despite what's going on in your, you have to you have to maintain some sort of normality, some structure that you're being used to doing, and that'll help you keep your mind on other things, other things. And uh, and don't feel guilty. Okay, I'm leaving. If you want me to leave, I don't want you to leave, Rosa. I want you to stay until I finish doing the cleaning. Who knows when that'll be, though? <laughs> I never want you to leave, Rosa. So, um, yeah, I, I think you should upload, Buckeye, I think you should upload your video where you're diving tonight, um, you know, and, and, uh, and the people will, and then you'll experience the love. You found a wine cooler tonight and your friend was wanting one? Wow, just a, well, I mean, like, just imagine if you found something that you wanted. I wonder if we had, like, if, if, if the possibilities of putting that message out there into the universe and then going diving. I do it, I, I do it a lot. Like, the night before I go for a dive, I go, hmm, uh, thank you, universe. Uh, you've been really awesome to me lately. Um, I'm, Actually, I'm looking through the covers and go. We need some, we need some dishwashing liquid. You know, there's 1.5 liter bottles would be awesome. Looking through the pantry, I'm I'm actually doing. I actually do that. Looking through the pantry and go. Hmm, we need some uh, coconut. <laughs> and then I get a phone call. I get a phone call from um, Margaret, uh, who um, who. Um, helps distribute the food that I donate to these families. I get a call from her and she goes, I've got a family of four here. They got kids from um, from six years old to uh, 11 years old. Can you help? And then I go, yep. I says, I sure can. I'm going to go in out tonight and I'll let you know. And then I turn around and say to the universe, I'll take one of uh, one or two or three or four of everything. Thanks. He, he said, oh. I have to get off here. I have two grandkids staying with me tonight and I have to get up, uh, says Angie, with them in the morn. So have much enjoyed this live chat and you cooked a beautiful meal. Thank you, Angie. Love you to bits and pieces. I will catch you on the next one tomorrow. Uh, he said he wanted a wine rack and wine cooler, and I wanted, and boom, we found it both different times. But he got him. That's what I'm talking. About. That's what I'm talking about. God bless you all in the chat, and have a blessed and happy weekend. Thank you, thank you, Adrian. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed your time here with us. Love you all, and I'm so blessed to have met and become friends with you all. God bless you all. Much love to you all. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, Angie. Good night. Or in my language, poor Marie. Poor Marie. Yeah, isn't it amazing the things that we find? It, it never ceases to amaze me. I need to go to, I have work early in the morning. Take care, Big B. Love the cooking, live great uh, to see you cook. Take care, good night. Take care m yourself too, Renee. Thank you so much for your support and your encouragement and all your awesome comments. You are truly, um, you, you have blessed this page like all of you have. And, and I'm so grateful, so grateful to you all. I told him to put it out in the universe and he must have, he must have found more ice cream again. Nothing wrong with ice cream, as long as you got freezer space. So true, Adrian. So glad to be able to pray for people. Yeah, and you don't even need a reason. Don't even need a reason to pray. Don't even need a reason. 
they just do it because praying or or giving thanks or being grateful helps us find answers that would normally wouldn't be in front of us but when we when we give thanks for all of the things that we have when we give thanks for everything that we have we realize our, our in, insignificant our worries and our troubles are because we have so much to be to be grateful for okay big b going to sleep <laughs> okay i'll um I'll, I'll do a video i'll do a video of me doing the cleanup and then i'll i'll, I'll just send it to you privately Rosalie. <laughs> I got my mum to come and she subscribed to. Oh, thank you, Renee. That's a, that's amazing. I hope I do her justice, you know, and, and do her attention justice, Canadian, uh, Renee. I, I super appreciate, appreciate that. And bless you, my friend. Any more ice cream? Will wouldn't have any space. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Uh, Renee, Mum Phyllis was new here tonight. She was hanging out with us. Ish, Phyllis, I saw Phyllis on there. Yeah. Later, Renee says Angie, be right back. Going to call Grandma Buckeye for updates. Okay then, Buckeye. I'm probably gonna shut it down any second now. To be honest. Go big, be going now. Have to have a great sale tomorrow. Good night. And good day, great day for you. Thank you, Rosa. Yeah, go on, yeah, Rosa, go on, get. <laughs> You'll be nothing but a pain. <laughs> Bye, everyone, says Rosa. Good night, all, says Adrian. Good night to you guys. I know it's like the, the time must be really pressing over there. Yeah, absolutely. And number one says, Good night, Angie. Good night, John boy. Good night, Mary Ellen. Thank you, Big B, for sharing with us all here. We love you. I love you too. I love you too, number one. I love all of you guys, you know. You helped me make this possible. And quite a we had quite a we had quite a chat in here, didn't we? Didn't we, number one? Thank you for looking after me. I do, I do. You're not a pain, Rosa. I do love you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And I worry for you too, right? I want you to know, I worry for you. I worry for you. I hear strain in your voice sometimes when you're doing your videos. And, you know, don't don't strain. Don't strain yourself to, to produce something that's not there. I worry for you, my friend. People will come to you even if you don't find <coughs> find anything. <coughs> I will still come and watch your watch you. I'll still come to your channel. So how was the um, how was the update? Oh, oh, you're waiting for the reply, right, Buckeye? Okay. Good night, Razor. Good night, my friend. Love you to bits. You're not a pain. <laughs> you are, you're a good pain. You're a good pain. I added you to all my YouTube family, so I won't forget you. Now, that's awesome. Thank you, Adrian. That that means a lot. They're giving an MRI tomorrow. They are keeping him. That's that's good news. That's good news. I will do the same for you, Art. Going to add you now. Awesome, Angie. Big B, would you be proud of me? I I took some bananas from Aldi today. Extremely extremely is that on your video extremely proud of you 
you know, if it was it, it was something that you needed and you didn't have and was able to obtain, absolutely. We are now family. Nice. Nice. We always were family. We just didn't know it yet. I did video it. Cool. Well, well you put that... Look, look, don't you delay any further, Pauline. You put that bad boy up. You hear me? I want to see that. They just look really good. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. You know, like, that's why I trip out on people. You know, when they, they go, uh, are you going to eat that? I says, it looks the same as if you were to go into the shop and get it off the shelf, my bro. In fact, it was on the shelf 15, you know, five minutes ago. It still looks the same. It still looks the same. Gee, my handsome boy. Hey, my handsome son. My handsome son, my handsome son. <laughs> I sing that to my dog. He gets all excited. My handsome son, my handsome, handsome son. <laughs> yes, they, they was very new. Exactly. I mean, they, look, they're throwing away stuff that, that, I'm not supposed to have issues for another week because they don't have the room to keep in their chillers because they're getting all this other fresh stuff. Crazy, crazy. I give thanks. You know, I give thanks for all of that. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's right. I enjoy getting it for free and say the food won't be throw it away. So I get it. Absolutely. Say the why. And, um, and I did ask you a question earlier on, and um, I didn't see the right answer. What is better than free? And here is the answer, guys. Here is the answer you've all been waiting for. What is better than free? Free and delivered. Free and delivered. That's one thing better than free, is free and delivered. Think about it. Am I wrong? My dad you, uh, used, used to ask me if that was regular hamburger or dumpster burger. I oh, used to ask me. Uh, right, my dad used to ask me, is that regular burger or dumpster burger? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, true. Was he trying? Like, was he like taking the Mickey? Free is free. Well, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I got you there. I got you there, uh, Adrian. I will go on and on if I don't get on here. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do. We if we're grateful for everything we get for the dumpsters, then it doesn't matter whether the small is big or small. It doesn't matter. The same gratitude goes in. The same gratitude goes into both entities. The same energy, same energy. It shouldn't matter. That's why I've been pushing the small holes, and I've been noticing people putting up small holes in their videos, not just the big ones, because that's not a dumpster diving reality. It's not. It isn't. It's not. <laughs> It isn't. <clears throat> God will bless it. God will bless us and and God direct us to it, you know. Because we get this itch for a reason. Big B, Angie had an awesome live stream. She has a store in her house. It's beautiful. Yeah, she was saying. She, she was just telling me that I should go over and check it out and I will. I couldn't leave all of that big B in those big halls that I got. No, no, no. I'm not, absolutely. I, 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 no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that when, when the, when the, the, the halls are small, 
you know, we 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 downplay the find because they don't live up to the standard or what we think other people are thinking that the standard should always be left maintained at a very high level but that's not a re that's not a reality it's it, it's it's not a reality we are up to 275 true by guys wow yeah nice that's amazing I am thankful for small holes I am more grateful for small holes and then I am big holes and I'll tell you why it's because the small holes the big holes are usually at the top and easy to grab and you often don't have to worry about tearing your bags open because your car is already full but small holes you have to tear through every bag and go through touch everything pretty much you know that's that's how i see the difference Susie Weezy. Suzy Wizzy, hello everyone. Uh, have, you, have you gone away, uh, cooked dinner, um, and had a shower, gone out for a drink and come back? Suzy Wizzy? Or are you just joining our live like just right now? I have to ask. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To the first bit. <laughs> uh, everyone is in bed. I bet. I only go for a few finds, but boom, there it is. Is you can't leave. No, you can't. Yeah, I'm not saying. No. no, I'm. I'm just. Maybe I'm not explaining. Um, right or i'm not wording it right i'm saying that we don't have the same amount of love for the small holes we find as we do for the big holes because there's a certain expectation of for us to deliver a standard of content and if we're not meeting that it doesn't necessarily mean we're any less of uh, a person or an, an achiever for have not reached that standard set on only by ourselves no one else hi sister Polly needs to come up here and go diving yeah Oosh. I tell you, Pauline's pretty solid where she at, though. She got some, like, high-end stuff. Yeah, you are. Yes, yes, the exact same intensity in your, in your grateful, in your gratitude. The same. Like, I say small hole, but I, I, I don't say... I uh, didn't get very much today, you know, there was nothing there. I, I go, wow, look at this. Look what I found, you know, look, and, and we got this. And this is cool. You know, um, yeah, it's just demeanor, I guess. I like that high-end stuff. <laughs> yeah, don't we all, eh? <laughs> yeah, we like that high-end stuff. <laughs> Yes, it's free. Oh man, you should like. I've only seen uh, like a smidgen of Pauline stuff, and she and she's only giving me like a preview. We didn't even get close to the vault, did we? Number one, we didn't even get close to the vault, which was downstairs. Mm. Pardon me. Jingo is just going yawning in your guys' faces. Hey, Angie. Okay, yeah. Uh, just so you guys can go to bed, I'm going to like end our live and I'm going to bid you guys all a good night. No, you just seen a little bit. Yeah, I know. I know I've seen a little bit. I know. I saw, like I said, it didn't even get close to the vault. 
I don't even think I saw a little bit. I saw like a morsel. It was a morsel. So yes, we're gonna. Um, I'm gonna like end the live. I've got some other things that uh, I need to do. Some catching up on videos, getting myself ready for the uh, thing tomorrow night. Uh, I really, really appreciate you all for coming on, Buckeye. Prayers to you, but I will catch up with you later, my friend. Absolutely. Um, Angie, good night. Pauline, number one. You've been your, your first one on board, last one to leave. Like, like solid the whole two hours. Suzy Weezy, thank you for coming in, going away, coming back, and, and just in time to say hello and goodbye. Uh, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah. I'll post up a little video saying when you can catch my live in them uh, tomorrow morning or your guys tomorrow night. Good night, guys. Good night, everyone. Good night, John Boy.